Folks, today I'm gonna teach you about a free trading system. I'm gonna give you one, I'm gonna teach you the system, and it's gonna be all yours. There's no hidden fees, there's no, uh, there's no catches. It's free and it's a really good high probability system. I'm really excited about this because I've been getting a lot of emails asking me, Roger, can you give us a free system? Can you show us how to put together a system? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So, I gotta start off with a little history lesson. If you look at the markets, system trading was utilized with commodities and futures markets in the early 80s and usually, typically, by science engineers because friendly computers were not around back in the early 80s, okay? You gotta remember what we're talking, you know, computers were barely around in the early 80s. So, what happened was, these system traders were applying uh, 20 day moving averages, 50 day moving averages, 20 day breakouts, 50 day breakouts, 200 day breakouts. They were applying these real system, simple methods to commodities and future systems. And they worked. They worked in the early 80s because there was a lot, there was very few competition. There was no one competing against you. There was no other guy systems trading. So there was very few false breakouts. Okay. This is why I'm giving you this history lesson. But when they applied these systems to the stock market, they found out that most of these systems failed. Why did they fail? They failed because stocks are a counter trending asset. If you look at the S&P 500 over the last 20 years, you'll find that it made less than 7% return annually. That's a fact. Don't be mad at me. I, I, I'm not making the rules around here. I'm just telling you facts. Yeah, believe it or not, over the last 20 years, the S&P has generated about 6.98 or 92% return per year. Don't quote me on that, but it's less than 7%. That I remember for sure. So the question is, how do you make a system? How do you make, how do you use these, these uh, signals, these, this 20 day high, 50 day high, 200 day high to help you make a system? So let me, let me show you something. If you took stocks, if I take 4,000 stocks and I test to see how many take out a 20 day price high, that means trading above a 20 day high without coming back or in, in other words, it's called a false breakout. The number is 70%. Not 70% would make it through. 70% would give us a false breakout. What does that mean? Well, that means when you're looking at 20 day highs and you're looking at the stock market, there's a 70% there's a chance that the stock will come back into that 20 day high. In other words, it'll erase part of that gain. So it'll make a 20 day high and then there's a 30% chance. Pay attention. This is really important. And if you were to buy this type of a strategy, it would cost you a lot of money. It's free. I'm not selling anything here. 30% that it'll continue going higher after making a 20 day high. There's a 70% chance that the stock will come back down. Now, if I go to 50 day high, that ratio will go to about 40%, 60%. That means that 40% will continue, 60% will fall back. And if I go to 90 days, so we did 20 days, 50 days, and 90 days, that ratio will actually go to about 55, 45, which means 55% of the stocks will continue going higher and 45 will come down. Now don't get too excited because after 90 day, that number decreases and goes back to, back down. So that means if you start going to 150 days, the number, number will revert back to 40, 60. And if you go to 250 days, the number will go to 30, 70. So there's a sweet spot for breakouts, momentum breakouts, if you want to trade momentum breakouts at the 90 day line. All right. But we're swing trading, right? We're not looking for 90 day buys. How do we take these systems, all of this stuff that I just showed you, and how do we make it useful? Let me show you. Now, remember what I said, 20 day breakouts have a 70% chance of falling back down and a 30% chance of continuing. 
what do we do? Let me show you, this is really cool. I didn't create the system either, by the way. Someone taught me the system about 20 years ago. So if 20 day breakouts have a success rate of 30% over time and a failure rate of 70%, why not fade them? If you fade them, you're going to be right 70% of the time. Not bad, right? So you don't trade the 20 day breakout. You don't buy the stock when it breaks above the 20 day high, which is, it's doing it right here, 20 day high, you buy, and then you have a 30% chance of it going higher and a 70% chance of it going back down. So, and my, my handwriting sucks, so just try to follow along with what I'm saying, but think about it. Instead of buying a 20 day breakout, how about selling a 20 day breakout? Or instead of selling a 20 day breakout, how about buying a 20 day breakout? So if you buy 20 day breakdowns, stock makes a 20 day low and you start buying, your success rate will be 70%. Now there's a lot more to this system. There's the profit target, there's a stop loss, but I just gave you an entry that has a probability rate of 70%, 70%. Fade 20 day highs and fade 20 day lows. That means stock is making a new 20 day high and it looks like it's gonna break out and go higher. Well, there's only about 30% chance of that. The odds are it's gonna come back down. Stock making 20 day low, you think it's gonna come lower? The odds are about 30% of that. There's a 70% chance that if you fade that 20 day breakout, either to the upside or to the downside, that you will be profitable. Now, I just gave you a lot of information. This is statistical stuff. This is back tested information. If you test stocks over 20 years, you'll find 20 day breakouts are valid only 30% of the time. It actually may be even lower, maybe like 28% of the time. Either way, you have more than 70% chance of having a win it, winning trade if you fade a 20 day low and go long instead of shorting it or fade a 20 day breakout and go short or a 20 day low and go high. So you fade a 20 day high by going short and you fade a 20 day low by going long. Hopefully that helps, gives you some, some education and helps you with a high probability system. Talk soon guys.